Well, hello, it's a great Southern Ancient Miniature Man here, and I've got another uh, comparison, uh, Dacian Wars. So we've got the Hail Caesar uh, Warlord Games versus Victrix, both of which make uh, excellent Dacian kits. Um, the main difference is Victrix does their standard uh, large kit with pretty much everything in, so 60 miniatures. Uh, can be made in all sorts of different ways and very versatile. A lot of them can be done as Germanic uh, soldiers rather than Dacians. But uh, you can make archers and swordsmen, falcsmen, the whole gamut really. Uh, noblemen, it's got everything in that uh, in that bag. So I'll show you plenty of those miniatures later. Hail Caesar um, Warlord Games a little bit different. They have a couple of boxes. So you've got the Dacian Nobles here, which I have. There's also a separate box of Dacian Falksmen. Uh, I didn't go for them just because they're a little bit kind of on the cliched barbarian style with uh, crazy attacking poses, uh, wild, no sort of sense of um, of keeping in a formation or a structure, just crazed attack, which I think is a bit of a cliche for the barbarians. Also, I already had the Victrix ones, which have plenty of uh, Falxes in them, so I felt no need to get them. But the Dacian Nobles kit was excellent, and I'll just give you a little show of that. It does have the advantage over Victrix in that it comes with the shield decals there. Um, and it has a mixture of plastic and metal, which is Quite an interesting concept, I think. So what you get is a number of sprues. There's 42 guys in there. You get a number of sprues. They're all the same. And if you have the uh, Celtic Warlord Games kit, you'll see they're actually <clears throat> exactly the same. Which, at first glance, you think, well, that's a bit cheap and a bit dodgy. But, in fact, you get the entire Celtic set. Plus, you get a whole lot of it extra stuff so that you can modify them to be Dacian so it's kind of you almost get two for the price of one I think it's quite a good deal so the bodies uh, consist of the plastic generic kind of barbarian bottom half and then you can attach these metal specific Dacian uh, upper half bodies to them and the fact they've got that kind of pivoting um, ball and socket almost means you can put them in lots of different poses which is quite cool as you can see uh, and they come with quite a lot of those metal upper halves you can see some have got um, nice cloaks on them as well as that you get a whole lot of metal Dacian heads so even if you want to use the bodies exactly uh, as per the Celtic set then you get these nice Dacian noble heads that you can stick on them and having all those spare heads off to, obviously means you can um, do a bit of kit bashing and put them on pretty much any sort of barbarian head particularly um, if you're particularly doing the Dacians you can stick them on the Victrix um, guys heads as well so they work quite well in that regard they also come with a few special figures that are purely metal they're kind of command figures, you've got this cool guy with his sword up. Excellent um, cape there, that'll come up really nicely once I've done that and dry brushed it. Also, uh, horn blower there. So it's pretty cool. So you get a few special individual figures and then there's a great capacity to make a whole lot of unique uh, Dacian guys. So here's another one who I have stuck the metal half top to the plastic half bottom. The only problem with them is they're very top heavy so you can't stand them up when you're painting them or afterwards you have to mount them on something that's got a bit of weight in it to stop them face planting. Slight design fault. Uh, here's another guy I've got a little bit closer to completing so he actually he's pinched a falx so they don't come with any it, this kit doesn't come with falxes so i must have taken that out of the um, victrix kit forgot about that and likewise they don't come with any archers in this uh hail caesar set so again i've taken some bits out of the victrix so they you can see they can um quite nicely kit bash the victrix with the hail caesar um, 
the shields, as I say, they come with lots of shields. So there's all those Celtic standard ones, but then you get the specific little metal um, oval shaped shields, and you get these nice shield decals. So it's so value for money that sort of beats Victrix because you've got to buy the separate uh, little big man shield transfers, which are quite expensive per item. And that's one area where Hail Caesar World Games are winning. They have nice um, wooden panelling on the back of their shields, so they're quite well done. Again, they add to the weight and make the figure completely unstable if they're not mounted on something heavier, but it's not a big deal. Here's another guy, metal top half and um, plastic bait. Let's see if he can stand up. No, not a chance. Um, what I might do now is I will go to the rotisserie and we will put on some completed figures and you can get a look and uh, see what you think. So here we are with the Warlord Games Hal Caesar uh, Dacians. The guy coming up here, he's a bit of a hybrid. So he's got um, a Victrix body, but then the head and the shield come from the Warlord Games set. The guy, a uh, commander on the hill, he comes separately. He's another metal Warlord Games figure. The one with the blue standard, Draco standard. And this next guy coming up with a yellow and blue stripy shirt. He's basically this dock standard um, Daisy Nobles from Warlord Games. So I think they're beautiful. Very versatile and um, an excellent value for money given that you basically get the Celtic set with a huge amount of um, options to vary as Dacian. So if you only want a small number, say 20 odd Dacians, 20 odd Celts, you can get them all in the one kit. The only downside of that Nobles kit is it doesn't have any Falx weapons, which are sort of characteristic iconic of the Dacians so if you want them you've either got to get the uh, the Victrix as well or you've got to get the extra set of Warlord games with the Dacian Falks but I shall now show you some of the Victrix boys and here we have the Victrix Dacians so you can see a range of different um, Falks's small ones large ones normal swords archers Heaps of capes, different cape options. They go well with a little big man um, shield. That guy is made as a German, but he's from the Dacian set. Have a look at that one with a chicken helmet. I've never seen a helmet like that before. Hard to vote against a company that makes chicken man helmets. That's pretty awesome. You see in the middle there, you've got a guy with um, with a naked top half. I haven't actually made any Dacians in that style, but you can with this kit. So to be honest, when I was starting out making this video, I actually thought I was gonna give the prize to the Warlord Games ones, because I love the versatility, the fact you get sort of two kits in one, the, uh, the metal mixed with the plastic. I think it actually works really well. But now that I put these guys up, and see how much incredible diversity you can get from the Victrix kit and the quality of the guys that you can make. The beautiful uh, shield decals there. You pay a little bit more for them to get the little big man ones, but I think they are actually superior to the Warlord Games ones that come in their box. So I think this time there's a chicken man. I think he's the winner. <laughs> he sways it. So I'm gonna vote for Victrix, greatest Dacian set. You get the Falks, you get the Nobles, you get everything really in one bag. Hard to beat them. So they're going to take the prize, but only by a small margin. The other ones are also excellent. And as ever, get them both, mix them up, make every individual guy different. Um, so I hope you like that and subscribe and bell button and all that kind of good gear. And Happy New Year. See you later.